안녕하세요. 마니스 반가워요. 저는 바나오입니다. Play with happy birthday. Try out your work. So I'm very happy to be doing. It was sort of difficult for you to separate yourself from your work. Hi, this is Bhavna and you're watching India Today. Recently, India Today had the opportunity to attend the virtual press conference for the Netflix series Young Song Creature with stars Park Seo Joon and Han Soo Hee in the lead role. This is the first time the two Korean stars have come together for a show and the show has been directed by Jang Dong Young. The series is divided into two parts and the first part drops on Netflix. We also had an opportunity to ask a question during a round table with the lead cast and here's how it went. Annyeonghaseyo, Manasu Bhangawayo, Chanan Bhavna Amida. Uh firstly, uh, my question is to Park Seo Joon. But firstly, belated happy birthday. I have always admired I admired your work so I'm very happy to be doing this. Um my question to you is that you know uh, earlier this year I believe you mentioned that there was a point in your career where it was sort of difficult for you to separate yourself from your work. Um and then of course there was a point where you decided and you learned to do that. Uh but when you're working on a project like Gonson Creature which demands a lot as an actor, uh not just physically but also mentally, are you really able to separate yourself from your character at any point? And also which is that one character which has affected you as Park Seo Joon the person and not an actor? 일단 뭐 마지막 질문부터 답변을 드리면 모든 캐릭터가 저한테 영향을 줄 수밖에 없고요. 그렇게 항상 생각하고 있고요. 그리고 음 저도 어떤 그런 한 과정에 놓여 있는 것 같아요. 계속해서 음 나이도 한살한살 한살 먹고 어떤 상황 어떤 상황에 계속 직면하면서 어 아직도 성장해 나가고 인간적으로 성장하고 있구나라는 걸 느끼는 시기인 것 같고요. 음 어쩌면 이게 앞으로도 끝은 없겠구나라는 생각이 들 정도로 계속해서 성장해 나가고 있는 것 같아요. 음, 그래서 그 힘들었던 거 이런 것들도 다 성장의 과정이라는 생각이 들고요. 음, 지금은 또 지금 나름대로의 방법을 찾아가면서 삶에 대해서 생각해 보고 그런 것 같습니다. Well, another publication had an opportunity to then ask the director on his reasons to cast Park Seo Joon and Seo Hee in the creature genre. To that, this is what he said. 사실 음, 두 분은 우리 이런 말이 좀 민망하긴 하는데 <웃음> 대한민국을 대표하는 각자 남자 배우 여자 배우의 탑 중에 한 명이라고 생각을 하는데요. 다른 사람들이 그래서 <웃음> 그래서 어 같이 했으면 너무 좋겠다는 생각을 했었고 그리고 그두분다 되게 프로예요. 그래서 현장에서 너무나 열심히 해 주고 가끔 제가 바보 같은 짓을 해도 다 받아 넘겨 주고 더 이상 뛰어넘는 그런 것들을 많이 보여줬고 그래서 하면서 저는 개인적으로 좀 재밌었던 것 같아요. 뭔가 이두 분의 케미라고 해야 되나요? 그런 것도 볼수 있고 그 그리고 한 사람 한 사람당 어의 성격들도 좀볼수 있는 것 같고 사람을 좀 알아가는 재미가 있었던 것 같아요. 네. Well, it is no secret that Gonsan Creature is heavy on action and has an undercurrent of romance to it. During the press conference in Seoul, Sojin was asked on how did he try to portray these extreme uh, emotions and the reserved romance in the show. This is what the South Korean star said. Yes, so, you know, really, when it comes to acting and when it comes to performances, thinking about which degree, how much you want to express certain emotions, that's always a big challenge. And because it has to be convincing, that is what we do as actors. And so making sure that I 
dial it to just the right degree. That was one of the things I priori prioritized this time around. And there's a certain mood and vibe that comes with the period piece or, or the history. And so I think because of the context, all I had to do was just look at Taeok and the rest of it was created organically. And also because Taeok, you know, Sohi is just a great actress. And rather than really being deliberate in trying to discuss what we're going to create, it was almost as if uh, we had the context built already and we would come together and just go with it. So I think it could be said as a reserved romance, but I think it more has to do with the context that makes people's hearts ache. Lovely. Thank you so much. Well, this is for Konsan Creature and the second part of the series will be available on Netflix from January 1st.